Hey everyone, I am Brenda, self-taught freelance web developer. If you are interested in learning how to code um, and you have zero, zero knowledge and you don't know where to start, I'm gonna be sharing with you all the three things that you need to learn to go from zero knowledge of web development to start freelancing as a web developer. Now these things are gonna give you the tools you need, but of course, practice is very, 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 very important. I will also be sharing where you can gain this knowledge. So I will be sharing the platforms that I personally use and that I've recommended to so many people and that a lot of people have told me that they've used. So they are proven to work. The first thing you need to learn is HTML. HTML is basically the bones, the structure of a website, of a web app. You have to learn HTML. HTML and the main place where you can go to learn HTML is Free Code Camp. Everyone goes to Free Code Camp because their responsive web design certification and course is amazing. It is an amazing basic fundamental course like you will learn the basis of web development you will learn what you need to know and just the way that the platform is the community is amazing i definitely recommend if you are just starting out go to free code camp and check out the responsive web design course and the next thing that you need to learn is CSS. CSS is the styling of a website. So um, while HTML can help you put those titles up there and add those pictures, CSS can help you add the color of the title, the background color, etc. It's not just that simple. You can do a lot of crazy, amazing things with CSS. Trust me, a lot of crazy stuff can, can happen with CSS. Um, and a good place to learn CSS is also free code camp. Actually, CSS is included within their responsive web design certification. So you get HTML and CSS together in a bundle. And I know a lot of people say like, CSS is difficult, it's difficult to get a grasp of it. How do you get better at CSS? And these, these, these are my top platforms. One is Front End Mentor. You can go on Front End Mentor and do their challenges. Start with the beginner challenges and keep moving up. The, the important thing about CSS that is that you need to practice. You need to practice on CSS. CSS is like learning how to ride a bicycle. You have to use it every day. You have to practice every day. The more you use it, the more you'll learn. And with experience, you will become better at it. So definitely check out Front End Mentor and check out Dribble. Dribble also has a lot of uh, UI UX design ideas and you can just use them to, to practice and build them out. The next thing that you need to learn is JavaScript. JavaScript is what adds the functionality to websites. So JavaScript can help you have a navigation bar, can help you have an interactive responsive navigation bar. So when you resize a screen, it will go from a top navigation to a hamburger menu that you click on and it opens. So all of these are interactions that you add with JavaScript. JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is a programming language. JavaScript is not an easy language, especially if you have no background in technology. So the platform I recommend to learn JavaScript is Scrimba. Scrimba is amazing. I talk about them so much, but I seriously love their platform. Um, they have an interactive an extremely interactive platform where you're looking at a course, you're following what the instructor is doing, but you're also doing it yourself in the editor video. It's crazy. You need to go to their website and actually check it out and like try it. And their JavaScript course is really good. I definitely recommend it. And one thing to keep in mind about JavaScript, you're never gonna know everything about JavaScript. Um, maybe after like 20 years, I still don't know everything about JavaScript. And after working with React for like the last two years, I've pretty much forgotten a lot of vanilla JavaScript. So it comes and it goes and it comes with practice. The more you learn, the more you practice, the more issues you'll encounter, the more you learn. And it's just a cycle. You have to keep practicing. You have to keep building. And 
as you're building you encounter issues and these issues help you learn more it's just a cycle so don't feel discouraged and you can definitely do it and these are the three things you need to learn to go from zero knowledge of web development to freelancing as a web developer you do not need to be an expert you do not trust me i got my first freelance clients when i knew very basic html and css i think i didn't know anything about javascript or i had just started learning javascript and it was like nowhere in my brain like i had no knowledge of it um of course now i know javascript and i know react and i know a lot more but when you're just starting out you just need to have a foundation you have to have a good foundation um the, again not an expert but you need to be willing to put in the work and to learn because when you start freelancing this is when your growth is gonna go on like hyper speed growth because you're gonna start encountering a lot of issues with your code you're gonna start encountering problems with products that you never noticed before and this is where you need to take those opportunities to learn and learn and learn and grow your career i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions at all feel free to leave them in the comments or reach out to me on social media or by email i will be happy to help and thank you so much for watching this video i will see you all in the next one bye